scientists have witnessed an enigmatic occurrence associated with the Higgs boson, suggesting potential inaccuracies in our comprehension of this particle. An unusual decay of the exotic particle has been observed, surpassing the established boundaries of the standard model of physics. These unforeseen findings challenge the predictions of the standard model, hinting at the prospect of new physics coming into play. To grasp the observed phenomenon, let's briefly delve into the concept of the Higgs boson and the Higgs mechanism using a daily life analogy. Envision the universe as an expansive swimming pool, not filled with water, but with an unseen substance known as the Higgs field. Now, consider various swimmers in this pool. The first swimmer represents a proficient, streamlined entity. As they navigate, they cut through the substance, interacting minimally with it. Similar to particles such as photons, which remain devoid of interaction with the Higgs field and consequently exhibit masslessness. Consider a more casual swimmer, a person less accustomed to swimming. Although capable of swimming, they generate significant splashes and waves, encountering difficulty in traversing the water. These swimmers analogize particles like electrons and quarks, interacting with the Higgs field and thereby possessing mass. Now, visualize an inflatable beach ball within the pool. Incapable of independent movement, the beach ball requires exertion to be pushed around. In this analogy, the beach ball symbolizes weightier particles, such as the W and Z bosons. These particles extensively interact with the Higgs field, accounting for their substantial mass. Lastly, envision the ripples that propagate across the pool's surface when swimmers are in motion. These waves resemble the Higgs boson. When a particle engages with the Higgs field, it has the potential to generate a disturbance or ripple analogous to the waves in our pool. This phenomenon represents the Higgs boson, identified as a quantum excitation of the Higgs field. The discovery of the Higgs boson at the Large Hadron Collider equated to observing these waves in the pool. The significance lies in the confirmation that there must be particles or swimmers interacting with the pool or Higgs field. However, a challenge arises as the Higgs boson has a fleeting existence following its creation in particle collisions. This renowned particle endures for an exceedingly brief period, less than a trillionth of a billionth of a second. This poses a significant challenge for studying the particle because it is created and annihilated in an extremely brief time frame. The particle's evanescent nature necessitates innovative approaches for examination. Physicists commonly investigate the properties of such ephemeral particles through their decay modes. The specific mode of decay depends on the prevailing conditions, and there are several ways in which this process can occur. Returning to our swimming pool analogy, envision our pool wave or the Higgs boson reaching an unsustainable size. What happens next? It undergoes a settling process. Exactly. And how does it achieve this? By fragmenting into smaller ripples or waves. Now, consider that these smaller waves symbolize other particles, contingent upon the initial size and energy of our substantial wave or the Higgs boson. It could fragment into a pair of smaller, identical waves akin to a pair of W bosons, Z bosons, or tau leptons. Alternatively, it might generate a combination of waves and minute bubbles, resembling a pair of leptons and photons. However, the complexity arises when examining the decay process of the Higgs boson into two photons. This process isn't straightforward. Instead, it involves an intricate mechanism known as a loop, where virtual particles fleetingly emerge and vanish. These virtual particles may include hypothetical entities that have yet to be observed, rendering their direct detection unfeasible. Intriguingly, this intricate process extends beyond decay into two photons. It also pertains to the decay of the Higgs boson into a photon and a Z boson, which constitutes the focal point of the new study. The Z boson is a heavyweight of the standard model, an elementary particle that, along with the W boson, serves as a carrier of the weak nuclear force in the Large Hadron Collider. The researchers set out to study this unusual decay process in accordance with the predictions of the standard model of particle physics. The expected result, based on the standard model, suggests that only a minuscule fraction of Higgs bosons, about 0.15%, should decay into a Z boson and a photon. Contrary to these predictions, experimental data show that this decay occurs about 6.6% of the time, which is significantly different from the expected value. 
Both experiments identified the Z boson by observing its subsequent decay into pairs of electrons or muons. The frequency of these Z boson decays was determined to be approximately 6.6%. The two primary experiments at the Large Hadron Collider strategically employed approaches to enhance sensitivity in detecting the decay of the Higgs boson into a Z boson and a photon. They focused on the most prevalent modes of Higgs boson production and utilized advanced machine learning techniques to effectively distinguish between signal and background events. As a result, they obtained the initial evidence of this decay process. It's essential to note, however, that the statistical significance of the observation stands at 3.4 standard deviations, slightly below the conventional threshold of five standard deviations required to assert a definitive observation. This suggests a small possibility of the findings being a chance occurrence. However, the measured signal rate exhibits a deviation from the predictions of the standard model by 1.9 standard deviations, making it a noteworthy result warranting careful consideration. The Higgs boson, traditionally viewed as a fundamental element of the standard model of particle physics, now appears to challenge the notion that it solely completes the model and might instead point towards potential extensions or modifications. Despite this, the study stands as a robust test of the standard model and its predictions, especially with the ongoing third run of the Large Hadron Collider in the future. Scientists at the High Luminosity Large Hadron Collider anticipate further progress in precision and the exploration of even more uncommon Higgs boson decays. These upcoming endeavors hold the potential for providing deeper insights into the fundamental nature of particles and their interactions. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already with us, and see you soon.